Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to NBA 2K19. Today, we're going to start off with a pack of I just pulled one of these dynamic duo packs, the packs that have single-handedly crushed every card in the game as far as price is concerned. Nothing has value anymore, absolutely nothing other than one particular card and a big diamond Kyrie. That gets you access to the Galaxy Opal Shack. But I thought we'd start it off with a banger. Why not? Don't get too many Galaxy Opal pulls. Let's see what we get. Something good? Rockets? Who's this? Center. Hakeem? Yao Ming. Okay. Well, Yao Ming pull. Okay, doesn't even fit on the damn screen. Good God. That's actually not a bad pull. I will take that. We'll take a Yao Ming with the Rockets playbook. Very, very cool. All right. Now let's get down to the nitty gritty of this video today. Now let's get this, get this stuff out of the way. Let's go back to let's go back to the main menu here. Look at all these cards, huh? Aren't they cool looking? So many cards this year. So many great cards in this year's My Team. In fact, there's been a lot of great cards throughout the course of all the My Teams. Going all the way back to 2K14. I don't, I'm going all the way back to next-gen consoles. We're not going back to Xbox 360 where they had purple and gold packs is what we call them. And <laughs> you pulled Legends or you pulled current day All-Stars. That was it. There was no theme sets, nothing like that. But there have been some great years in My Team. I've been through all of them, as a matter of fact. I've been through it ever since the first year my team began back on the old gen consoles. And through those years, I have fancied some of the cards throughout the years. So what I thought I'd do is, I get this question a lot, actually. What is my favorite my team card ever? Ever, out of all of them? Well, it's hard to pick just one because every year has a special card that you like to use or you fancy or you just feel like is your favorite card that you've had for the year. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over, uh, it was top 10, but we have a couple honorable mentions in there as well. So I'm going to go over some of the favorite, now there is no ranking in any of these. All of these have been my favorite cards throughout the years of my team and I'm going to tell you what they are. I think we have like 12 or 11 of them and uh, going to tell you what they are why they're my favorite, what they did for the course of my team, and uh, yeah, should be a little history lesson for some of you that maybe are new to the mode. A lot of these cards are going to look old, and they I mean, they've definitely gotten more advanced over the years, so, um, and with there being some of the older cards, some of them might not be the best image quality, because 2K MT Central and uh, MTDB have not been around forever, so, yeah, some of the image quality might not be the best on some of these cards, but hey, they're still my favorites. Still my favorites. We got a lot of to, we got a lot of cards to do, so uh, make our way over the carpet and uh, let's get started with this. Let's do it. All right, first card we are going to talk about. We're going to bring it all the way back to 2K14, and I'm not going in chronological order. I'm not going from 2K14 moving on. They're going to be peppered throughout the different games, so I might go 2K14 to 2K15, back to 2K14. So. Just so you're aware, I'm not going in any chronological order here or anything like that, but we will start with 2K14. The mode for me that really put it on the map and where I really got intrigued by the mode. This card right here wasn't even announced by 2K. In fact, there was no real checklist for it. In fact, this is one of the cards that was a hidden diamond, if you will. Wasn't on any type, like I said, any checklist or anything like that. What you had to do to achieve this card was collect all current day cards. And you got this card. Boom! Diamond Durant. Yeah, that's right. They just had diamonds back then. And the border, I actually kind of like this card. It looks very cool. I thought the picture was awesome. Like the little diamond encrusted border. Very, very cool. Yeah, this card really was just, when I got it, I was just, I loved looking at it. It was just, I love, like you had this cool layout of your lineup back then. And it was just a standout card. So, yeah. Uh... Diamond Durant. Ah, yeah. <laughs> He's paved the way. Coming in at 2K15, this card was a card that was kind of slept on until this is really when I started to get into streaming. Like the first thing, I'm, most people think I started out with YouTube. I actually started out on Twitch. That's really where I kind of built my brand, if you could say, um, or built my name in the community was through Twitch in the beginning. And 2K15 is really where it started to gain traction. So. This was a big year for me, and one of the cards, he was not a superstar yet. He had not teamed up with LeBron James. What card are we talking about? Boom! 
Ruby Kyrie Irving. This was one of my absolutely favorite cards back in a day where you could use normal point guards and not have to worry about running into somebody using an out of position card. We, we stuck to our morals back then. But yeah, no, this card was absolutely crazy and actually had pretty good defense. And the release was phenomenal. The release was phenomenal as it is still today. It's just a different mode, different time today. You don't run into the normal point guards anymore. But back then you did. And when you ran into this card, I was going to lay you down to business. Because of the release, all the crap, the handles were crazy. It was just a fun card to use. <laughs> One of my favorites in 2K15 was the Ruby Kyrie. Easy. We're going to stick on this 2K15 kind of mode here. I liked it. This was one of my favorites. In fact, a lot of stuff. I have quite a few cards from 2K15 that are on this list right here. Just because it was really the mode that kind of jump-started it all. Like, 2K14 was just so basic that this is where they really started to up the mode with different card tiers and everything like that. And in fact, they, they made a card mode that is not really part of the game today, but it was back then, and you could actually pull them in packs. They were called Onyx Packs, and they introduced one of our favorite players that everybody gets excited for every year. It was the first year this guy came around. <laughs> Boom! Onyx Tracy McGrady. Now, this card is just celebrated, but, I mean, it was, I mean, OSN threw it at a goddamn fit when he threw this card. Everybody and their dog wanted to pull this card. I mean, it was the top of the tier cards. It went for a penny. It was in the millions for a long time. Slowly, gradually, I think the cheapest it ever got was like 400000 which then yeah, these days, they, they tank those cards now. They don't ever let cards really hold their value anymore like they used to, which is kind of sad because you waste a lot of money to have these top tier cards, and then, you know, they'll do something like these packs that we just got that just crushed the market. But this card right here, I mean, was a favorite amongst, I know, Los Polos, was one of the guys that pulled this card just absolutely went haywire on stream osn i don't know if cash pulled him i want to say he did but yeah onyx t mac a staple in the my team history moving on next card comes from 2k16 now this card was when it was announced everyone thought it was kind of like a troll card there were these troll cards that were announced in 2k16 that a lot of them actually didn't come to light because there was so much complaining. There was a Diamond Luis Scola that was named. I mean, that was one of the cards that was named. And that name alone should let you know that that this is where they really started to take the mode into the type, type of a fantasy aspect, if you will. Making cards a little more overpowered than what they actually reflected in the NBA. But this card right here was a favorite and is still a favorite to everyone this day. And this card is one of my favorites from the mode. Boom! Diamond J.R. Smith. Now... Back then, I was one of the first people to get a snipe on this card. And guess what I sniped it for? One million MT. That's right. They had one million buyouts. Back then, we didn't have a 100K buyout was the highest you could go. And then you had to go bids from there. You could go up to a million buy now. And back then, cards went for insane amounts. I mean, I'm talking 8 million. <laughs> Los Polos, Kyrie Irving. Wait, what? Um, yeah, no. <laughs> I'm talking they went pretty high. So to get it for a million empty buyout was crazy. And uh, yeah, no, this card was absolutely nuts. This is where fire release, great defense, great dunking. Everybody wanted this card for the longest time. They eventually dropped some packs that were pretty common for diamond cards back then. And uh, yeah, he eventually got in a lower price range. I think like 200K. And that never became a buy now like the cards are now. But yeah, Jam and JR Smith, a treasure. A treasure in my heart, this card right here. All right, and now we're going to jump back a year to 2k15 i told you a lot of these cards come from 2k15 because it's really where they took their next step in the my team mode as far as differentiating and adding all these different tier cards so we're gonna go in and just go right into it this card was absolutely wanted craved by so many people boom onyx kobe bryant onyx kobe bryant this card was had a little controversy behind it because his release was super fast like super fast and in fact it's why a lot of people did not like the card because it was too fast super hard to time but once you got it oh man this card was beautiful beautiful i'm talking base 11 it might even be quicker than base 11 i'm not i'm not lying when i say that like it was really hard to time but once you got it this card was unstoppable this was when they when they announced it they said it was the 81 point kobe bryant so a little bit of background behind the card and what it actually stood for back then yeah, Onyx cards were throwback cards of past performances as, you know, throwback playoff cards are now. But this card 
just looked awesome too. I mean, I know a lot of people will say this is one of their favorite cards ever just because the picture is cool. The cool Onyx Blackboard. I mean, Onyx kind of has a crappy name behind it now because they're free agent cards. But back then, Onyx Thursdays, throwback cards were Onyxes. And if you pulled this one, it was, uh, it was special. All right, this next one, finally moving into some of more of the later generations, 2K17. This one I got, and this was actually kind of a special video for me. I was dead sick in this video. I, you can even go back to this day and watch. It's one of my most viewed videos. I, was, I had bronchitis for like two weeks. I couldn't talk. But for this card, I made the exception. I talked. I talked like that. I couldn't even. I, it was so bad that you probably, I don't even know if you could understand me in the video. But this card right here is one of my absolute favorites. It's probably one of the most banger cards that we got you know throughout the whole entire year boom Miami Heat LeBron James just the card art looked cool everybody wanted this card it was like his first like I don't know if it was like his first Miami Heat card that he ever got I'm trying to remember no no he got one in two okay no it wasn't but it was just a phenomenal card like the card it finally got like an insane three ball finally got good free throw finally got everything that you wanted out of a LeBron James card and this card it was expensive. I don't think it ever got under like 500k. Maybe 600k. Eh, it might have dropped to 400k. But still, to be that high of a price, even at the end of the year when they didn't even drop. Like, pack odds were hard back then. You really had to pull a lot of packs to even get a slight banger. It wasn't like now, like I said. I keep referring because the last couple of years, they've really tanked the market by just juicing odds. As you know, maybe they should. But I still like when cards hold their value just because... I like the differentiate of the teams. So yeah, this Miami Heat LeBron, just fuego. Card art, stupendous. All right, and moving in, yeah, we have one card from 2K18, and it is the card that started it all. This cheese, the cheddar, the mo the mozzarella, everything. Oh man, this card. <laughs> and he got even a beefier card this year. Boom, pink diamond Giannis. Yeah, that's right, the year they gave Giannis. And a lot of other cards that didn't deserve it, a three ball. Yeah, no, I love this card. Everybody, when this card was announced, they just, we knew my team was headed in a different direction. Some for the, some would say for the worse, some would say for the better, but yeah, this card absolutely started all the cheese, out of position, point guards, all of it. And with blow by being in the game where there was no defense, you could literally just truck through every opponent. I mean, he was the ultimate force. And the card that started it all for Giannis Antetokounmpo and having a three ball. 2K18, reward card, Pink Diamond Giannis. All right, this next one goes back to 2K15. Like I said, I referenced 2K15 a lot because it's also the first year we got introduced to a gem level that sounded kind of corny at the beginning, but Pink Diamonds were announced. And this card was the GOAT, literally. The best Jordan we've ever seen as far as three ball dunking at all. Pink Diamond Michael Jordan. This card, it was super hard to get. Now, this card, you had to, I mean, when I say this card was hard to get and they made this card hard to get, it was during a time where they had limited locker codes. And then, to make it that much harder, they would leave out one single character out of the code that you had to guess. And we, have, we would form parties where we had multiple people trying different letters, different numbers. To try and get this card and I was one of the fortunate ones in fact I think I got every pink diamond of that year um pink diamond Michael Jordan I mean you we had people guessing letters to get this card and it was worth it I mean this card was absolutely it had it all it had the dunking had a three ball had it he was just super fast it's like the 99 everything as of today the pink diamond Jordan oh man you had this card you were balling balling all right, moving down to probably my last card that I'm gonna mention, and it actually comes from this year. It might be my favorite card ever. It might be the only time we ever see this card ever. I don't know what kind of direction they're going in my team. It seems like it changes a little bit every year. Sometimes they go back to old tendencies. Sometimes they like to embrace the new. But this card, I don't know we'll ever see again. And that's why I have to put it as one of my favorite, if not my favorite of all time. Boom! Galaxy Opal Shaquille O'Neal. I mean, this card really just... It breaks every barrier that can be broken in my team. A fast Shaq, who is mostly overweight for a majority of his career. He shoots free throws, who, majority of his career, I don't know if he ever had a crazy free throw. He can shoot three balls. He can dribble. I mean, this card is so ridiculous. I absolutely love it. I love everything about it. It is just such a blast 
to use. And it's also pretty comical to see him out there shooting three balls. I mean, I laugh, I think, every time I see him make one. It is just the ultimate card, in my opinion. Sure, Galaxy Opal Giannis is cool and everything, but that card, to a degree, is pretty realistic other than shooting the three ball. But Shaq, in all aspects, is defying what he stood for, other than his dominance in the paint. I mean, he was not super fast, other than maybe his early years in the Lakers and Magic. And he was not good at free throws, and damn sure couldn't hit a three ball. Granted, he did make one, and I think it was in an all-star game, but yeah. I mean, <laughs> that card is absolutely crazy. I'm probably one of my favorites of all time, the Galaxy Opal Shaquille O'Neal. Alright, and then real quick, I got two honorable mentions. I'm not going to go into crazy detail. Boom, over here, we got Diamond Kevin Durant. First Kevin Durant that ever got the Limitless range. One finals MVP year. His first championship. Awesome card. Love that. And then boom, over here, Diamond Kobe Bryant. was the first card that I saw that made me look into YouTube where I found guys like Shake and Bake. Uh, you know, uh, just the OGs of like YouTube My Teamers. You know, Chris Smoove, all that. Found out what that card was. Found out you had to get a locker code to get it. So that really, to me, kind of introduced me to Twitch and YouTube. So it does have a little significance of importance to me. But it wasn't one of my favorite cards. But as far as the meaning of the cards, were very cool. So first limited, uh, limitless range, Kevin Durant. And then the card that kind of started everything for me, Kobe Bryant, as far as finding out what Twitch and YouTube was. But guys, that is going to be the list. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and kind of saw some cool cards that maybe you've never seen before. Or just kind of brought you back to some of the simpler times in my team but if you did enjoy this video i have a couple other ideas on what i'm going to do it's the worst card arts different things like that if that's videos you want to see leave the video a thumbs up hit the subscribe button if you're new and then also sorry i haven't put out a lot of videos like these lately or just videos in general I, it's been the summertime not a lot to, not a lot of content's been dropping so i've been doing live streams a lot of you guys been enjoying them but some of you haven't so I am going to be doing videos now too, um, just kind of peppering both in there, so stick around. Things are good. We're just trying to get through the dead season, if you will, of uh, 2K and uh, moving into 2K20. But guys, if you liked it again, video thumbs up. Subscribe button if you're new. Richie Nation, party on.